Hey everybody, this is Troy with eBuzz Central. Today we're doing a rehash of Windows FX Linux. But before we get started, please don't forget to like, subscribe, or follow my channel. It doesn't cost anything, and at the end of the day, if you don't like me, you can always unsubscribe. If you want to follow me on my socials, or buy me a cup of coffee, or better yet, maybe become a patron to the channel, those links are down below in the description. Windows FX Linux. I did a video on this last week, and I had a lot of comments on it. One of the comments I kept repeatedly getting was, did you try to download an EXE file and actually run it in Windows FX? Because it does state on their website that EXE and MSI applications can run natively with a double click as in Microsoft Windows. It does state the compatibility mode expands this feature even further. So we're going to try to download an EXE file and install it and see what happens. I'm just going to pick one out of the blue that's easy. Let's say, let's do clip grab. And we will find clip grab. There it is. No, I didn't. Double click. But see, it notices that I'm in Linux, so it gives me download for Linux. I want to download it for Windows. So let's go clip grab. Windows 10. Download Clip Grab for Windows. Let's download it. No, thank you. And I don't need you playing a video. I just want to download it. Why does it keep pushing me to Linux? All right. Let me think of a different Windows program. Belina Etcher. Sorry it's taking so long, guys. See, download for Linux. Etcher for Windows. Let's get that. And it's downloading the .exe file. So we will find out shortly if an .exe file will launch inside of Windows FX. Okay, the download is complete. So let's go ahead and close. Close. And minimize because I want to come back to that. Let's go over to File Manager, Downloads, BelinaEtcher.exe. Here we go. The Wine configuration in Home Windows is being updated. Please wait. So we shall wait for Wine to update. Wine could not find a Wine mono package which is needed for .NET applications to work correctly. Wine can automatically download and install it for you. Okay, let's do an install. See how this goes. I'm sure if you're somebody moving from Windows and wanting to use this distribution just so you can experience Linux, this would be a lot more simpler. Not understanding why this wouldn't have been installed out of the box. Wine could not get a Gecko package, which is needed for applications embedding HTML to work correctly. Wine can automatically download and install it for you. So let's install. So out of the box, we obviously do not have the capability of running .exe or .msi files right off the bat. So it's got to go through a lot of downloading. And if Wine needed this to begin with, why didn't it just download it all? So it's being updated. Please wait. And everybody knows, when I did the original video and it stated that it would run .exe files and .msi files, that wine was being used. But at the same time, I wanted to verify that this would actually work. So we're going to go ahead and double click, see what happens this time. Error writing to file C users Windows FX temp system DLL. So there you go. So if you're planning on using Windows FX as a Windows replacement, just because it states on the website that, let me open it back up, and now it's telling me my home folder is running out of space. Go figure. Let's go back over here. Guess what, guys? It completely and utterly locked up, just like your typical Windows machine. So let's... Oh, is it letting me back in? Let's close some things out here. 
Sorry, this video is a bit different, but I wanted to show you what you would be in store for. It is locked up. Give me a moment. I'm going to restart, see if we can get this handled. Okay, one thing this operating system does do is it makes you feel right at home with Windows because I had to just do a complete restart, shut down, and start over. And we're going to take a look at something real quick. Let's open this back up. It does state down here that EXI and MSI applications work with a double click. Obviously, we had to go through and let the system download WINE files to help you with that. But after the WINE files were done, and on a 230 gigabyte SSD card, my home folder was full. So that didn't work. Not saying it wouldn't work for you, but I'm just telling you my experience with it. It says Windows FX can run .exe and .msi programs natively with a double click, as in Microsoft Windows. The compatibility mode expands this feature even further. And if I understand correctly, that compatibility mode is a major part of their professional edition, which costs $20. Okay, let me go ahead and explain this to you. I had a viewer, actually a patron to the channel, who actually sent his $20 to Windows FX to get the professional serial key. He waited a week with no key, sent another email, still no key. Let's just put it this way. He still to this day has not received a key. He has spent $20 and he has heard nothing from the Windows FX team. So, just to put it out there, if you're considering this distribution, there have been people that have went with the professional version that have sent in their money to get the serial key for it, never received it, and haven't heard anything back. Just a fair warning. My point, basically, is if you're using Windows and you want to go to Linux, pick anything but Windows FX. Just telling you. Go out and try Zero Linux. That's a brand new distribution. Beautiful. It's got the Latte Dock involved in it. It runs quickly. It runs smoothly. It runs a lot smoother than this. Don't get locked up into what you're seeing on the screen is the only reason you want to stick with the distribution. So in this rehash, what have we come to? We've come to the assessment that EXE files and MSI files didn't run for me. They might run for you. But I'm just cautioning you that if you do install it, you may run into some errors. And if you want to expand the compatibility mode and pay $20 to get a serial key so you can get the quote-unquote professional edition, I hope you get your key. Because one of my viewers paid for it, hasn't received it, hasn't heard a word. Do me a favor before you go. Please like, subscribe, and follow my channel. Doesn't cost anything. And at the end of the day, if you don't like me, you can always unsubscribe. And if you want to follow me on my socials, maybe buy me a cup of coffee, or better yet, become a patron to the channel, those links are in the description down below. Thank you for watching the video, and I will see you in the next video.